Hey guys, and welcome to a new last epoch video. Today I'm going to teach you how to skip the story. So basically for this, we need to make some preparations. My character at the moment is level 55. At this point, we could skip the story. Uh, what do I mean by skipping the story? It's from chapter four to chapter nine. Well, in case you know that already, still watch the video. We're going to like explain the min max road to do it. All right. So basically what we're going to do first is we're going to complete chapter 1 to chapter 4, which is going to end in the Imperial area. Um, more specifically, we're going to go to uh, the point till we have to turn in a quest on the Oracle, which is in Oracle's abode. And you're going to have after that this quest, the Desert Way Station. So basically as soon as you have this quest, you're basically done. We want to get 14 passive points. We want to get 5 out of 8 idle slots. So this we get through um, side quests. So in case you're missing some points, you probably just missed a side quest somewhere. And some people are just actually running the chapters. And then they just, on this point, we they just go back and do the side quest. So uh, it depends on how you want to do it. At this point, we're going to be around level 30. And... That's the point where we start grinding monoliths. Monoliths is the end game of the game. Um, we're not gonna talk like about how the end game exactly works now. In this video, we're gonna make another video for that. And basically, we do the monoliths, and you make progress for the end game already with level 30. The first monolith is 58, but most builds can handle that really well at level 30 around. Uh, Blade Dancer at level 27, no issues as long as you buy Chris Daggers as an example with Umbral Blades. And um, Rune Masters can just play Fire Hydra and whatnot, right? So there's enough options. In case you are struggling, then you just want to continue the normal storyline until the point where you can just um, do Monoliths. Well, if you're going to be in chapter nearly at the end of chapter 7 or chapter 8, it's not worth doing the skip anymore because we are nearly done with the story anyways, right? But let's say you're gonna end in chapter five or chapter six, it's still worth doing the skip. So basically we do monoliths. The reason why we do monoliths is we need to make some more levels. So we need to get level 50 at least. And uh, we need to drop a sanctum key. Well, I don't have a sanctum key right now to show, but it's basically the same as an arena key. It looks the same. It's um, normally like this red if it's on the ground and it's just called a Sanctum Key. So you want to drop that as well. Um, the Sanctum Key itself drops only from level 55 plus rare monsters or bosses, like the bosses in the monoliths. So we basically do progress here already. We get level 50 plus and we get the key. Just as a comparison, most people at this point, like let's say I do two runs, right? I'm always the same speed because I'm the same person. I play the same way every time, right? So let's say I'm playing on my Blade Dancer number one. He's not doing the skip. I would be probably in chapter six, maybe seven, when I'm done with monoliths and when I'm already doing the skip to go to chapter nine. I did some progress in the end game and um, I don't have to struggle in the chapters at all. Like I don't have to bother with the storyline. I'm going to be a neck 9, I'm going to finish that and have everything the other guy also has, plus more levels and more progress already. So it saves a lot of time. So, how do we actually skip that? Well, I already told you that we need the key, um, the Sanctum key. And we are here in front of the Temporal Sanctum, which is a dungeon, um, where we also need the key to make the dungeon. It's over here in Ruined Area. Here's the waypoint. In case you don't have the waypoint, basically in Imperial Area, in the Shining Cove, there is a rift that um, pulls you to the Ruined Coast. There's also side quests that we want to do. So you have to come here anyways. You have to kill a monster and then loot something on the table. And uh, behind that, there is another door open, which basically um, takes you over here to the Temporal Sanctum. Then we basically go to the storm, put in the key and do the dungeon. After we completed the dungeon, we're going to be in Act 9. There is another exit where we can go through. And we're just going to be in Act 9, and then we do Act 9. It is um, an upside quest and storyline quest that gives you all the idle slot rewards that we are missing. Also the passive points, we get the factions over there. And we are basically done. That's how you skip it really, really fast. 
you can do it with your first character since act two um you basically gonna have this waypoint so you just run over this bridge and go to the monolith this works with your first character ever in the game so you don't need to have like a character that's already max level and then with your second character you can do the end game you can do it directly well unless they are changing now something in the patch right we don't know about that but if everything is unchanged it will work and then you just do the dungeon as i said well now um i'm just gonna put in a video as well of me running the dungeon for the people that are strugg struggling with it the dungeon itself isn't really hard but it has like a mechanic where you can swap zones so you also want to use that in the boss fight to like dodge certain mechanics and stuff so yeah you can just um continue watching the video and watch me doing the dungeon and then you will see what i mean i'm just gonna put on some music or so and yeah see you guys in the next one thanks for watching